adui akija sisi tuko tayari adui akija you, you you have seen people have retired and i have said this to the press the other day they were asking me for god to bless me by giving me life through so many challenges which i may explain a bit and give me this day of saying when they officially you see there is when you just disappear or when sometimes you die or sometimes but when you are still alive and the institution which you serve and the country which you serve officially says oh we want to say goodbye to you for the good job done what a joy to have lived all these years doing what i love and loving what i do which makes me do my best to let go do the rest every day when we work every day we retire home don't we every day you work you are struggling you are running up and down but in the evening you retire home that's the picture we like to give we are at a point when you say you have been running up and down you have been struggling here and there you have been now retire home and when you have a home to retire to also uganda is now at a much better place to retire now to than ever before there can never be some anything better to thank god for that you are one of those who in whatever little way you contributed to the transformation of a whole country which will lead to the transformation of the whole region to the transformation of the whole of africa and the society at large so i am at a, this is a, a victory day victory you know when you finish finish well finish well that is the highest note of life so that if i'm now saying it i'm still alive but i know that even when i die at least i have a trail that i will be proud of and i know many people will be proud of as i stand here in mbuya hill and i look around the whole scenery from lake victoria up to all the hills all covered in developments and that was even beyond what we envisaged we never conceived we never perceived that it would be this much but by god's grace god brought us this far he has kept us in charge of this country we have built the updf the updf individuals are individuals all of us will come and will go but at least the foundation for uganda to stabilize and to move forward is because of the updf those who are coming behind us have the challenge now listen to me there all our officers our senior officers our junior officers all our leaders when you see somebody going out and they are saying you go in his shoes the challenge you have is will you fit in those shoes will you keep the values now here on that one are you going to keep the values that made you pdf and nrab who it is the values the doctrine of the updf the pro people doctrine somebody yesterday was asking me what are you going to do now that you have retired i said i'm going to preach and i'm starting now and i'm preaching to updf first why others that updf just remain on our values maintain our our foundation build on it it's a very good foundation well built stage by stage process by process death by death blood by blood work by work to bring it where we are so whoever comes to follow us please you are most welcome but mark my words follow our values maintain them look after them share them and we all benefit adui akija sisi tuko tayari adui akija you you have seen people have retired and i have said this to the press the other day they were asking me one of the best examples of people who have retired is general mseven our president did he retire 
He was never tired. He may have worked even much more after retirement. So we are not going anywhere. Only we have been organized that thank you for having served. Let others now continue what they are calling active service. But you are actively, there is no way a revolutionary, there is no way somebody who went for a, a good cause will just say that there is a time when you stop and you are cut off. Hakuna, we are going to do even much more with even more freedom, with even more time. I can assure you, this is a great day of saying my institution is giving me a send-off official, open, public, for everyone to know that run our race, completed our course, and we are ready to go. And even if I died now, what has God not done to me? What more can God do that to prove that he loves me a lot? I am Major General Katarma Manoni Fenekans. I have been working for the UPDF uh, the last 40 or so years. Uh, I joined it as a young man after university in 1981. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. And the situation at that time could not allow us to practice our professions. And uh, I thought through it very deeply, and I have written about it in my book titled Compared with Action, Struggle for Self-Determination. The situation dictated that we must go out and do something, make a contribution for the betterment of our country. And I'm happy that it resulted into victory, first of all, in 1986. And since that time, we have been steadily progressing towards the Uganda would want to have. But I'm confident that uh, looking at what has transpired and about the youth who have stepped in to carry on with the struggle which we are involved in and probably after they deliver to others, then we shall certainly reach that destination. Today, we are here for documentation for retirement after this long input of service. And we are happy about this development. We are ready. We are prepared for it. Yeah, and let the young people also carry on with the button to deliver us to where we wanted to go. All our useful years and all the years since after school have been at the service of the UPDF and the country. And we are happy about the achievement to date. The struggle to make Uganda what it should be and what it is today has not been an easy one. A lot of blood has been shed. People have lost their dear lives struggling to take us forward. So my request to the young people who are holding now and who will continue holding for the foreseeable future should always remember where we were, what we went through, where we are now, where we are headed, how to get there, and how fast then they would have done justice to us as some of the pioneers and also to the people of Uganda who put a lot of trust, support and respect to the UPDF. So as we leave the UPDF, as we leave this tent and go, we are not going to sleep, to disappear, but to contribute in many, many other useful ways for the benefit of the country and for the benefit of Ugandans. 
in total we have been able to document 890. The figure would have been more but uh, in the process of documentation we have put aside almost uh, 35 casualties who had been documented but because the policy doesn't allow us to discharge them before they are compensated we had to push them aside and uh, this reduced uh, the figure from 910 to 890. Um, those not documented so far are 205. They haven't shown up, I don't know for which, which reasons. And those who have been dropped are 101. This includes the casualties, those who are in operations in the AMSOM, Suja, in total we have around 101. However, if I could emphasize on the figure of the 205 who have not yet documented, hopefully they will they will respond to the requirement of uh, data capture and uh, let me expect that before 31st of July these officers and men would respond in time before other administrative measures are taken against them for having failed to respond to the scheduled program of batch 12. Uh, the exercise itself has been, uh, uh, we have attained our goals and uh, the conduct was so superb to the point that we even had uh, what, what we had not anticipated to get in that specific time, we were able to attain it so the programming was so superb that we were able to work within the programmed time and we were able to accomplish our mission.